Hello Pokemon Trainers! Today I have another battle video, this time it's a pre-recorded battle, and this is against uh, one of the Master Toy Box artists, actually. This is against F. Daniel I. X. He likes Pokemon just like I do, so we, we arranged a battle. We actually had a couple battles, so I'll probably be posting some of those. And he and I will probably be playing more Pokemon and some other games in the future, so it's cool to have, you know, footage like this. So. Uh, we just decided to do just a fun battle just for fun as you can see our teams are kind of random I chose Pokemon that I like and, and that I wanted to try out I have a really random Raticate on my team and some other pretty pretty strong ones maybe <laughs> Very strong ones and his team also has some really strong ones um, Such as Mega, Mega Gardevoir, Greninja, Halucha, etc. So uh, The purpose of this fight is again just for fun and it's just whatever Pokemon we felt like bringing and then we also did an only legendaries battle which I will probably be posting at some point as well so let's go ahead and start the video so Dan is issuing a challenge <laughs> as we know and he actually leads with his Greninja and I led with my Manectric because I felt like my Manectric was pretty decent against most of his team and also because Manectric is faster than most of his Pokemon especially once I Mega Evolve of course I'm Mega Manectric a uh, really amazing Pokemon right there. And I'm just gonna Mega right here. I felt like I could take a hit from Greninja. Greninja's not amazingly strong, but it's pretty decent. And he's actually gonna set up the Toxic Spikes right here, which is pretty interesting, uh, because it means that it's gonna poison all of my Pokemon when they enter the battlefield. But I actually have a poison type on my team in the form of Dragalge. Sorry, I forgot the name for a second, which means when I switch Dragalge in, I will remove the Toxic Spikes. So. That's exactly what's going to happen here. The Toxic Spikes are going to disappear. And I also felt like Dragalge could take hits really well from Greninja. Unless he had Ice Beam. If he had Ice Beam, it probably would have done a really good chunk of damage. But he either doesn't have Ice Beam or he just doesn't go for it there. I'm going to be able to finish him off with a Dragon Pulse there. And that's a pretty good situation to be in. Because Greninja is just such a strong Pokemon. It can really, really do a lot of damage. And it's got a great move pool it can learn really many different types of attacks and it can uh it can get stab on them so that's pretty good so he's gonna switch into his gardevoir which ends up being his mega gardevoir which is really good for him because he actually has psychic on this which of course you know that makes a lot of sense he's gonna be able to really easily destroy my dragalge because of course psychic is super effective against poison and uh dragalge i felt like he could do a lot more work against his against dan's team but unfortunately you know, he got taken out early. So now I'm going to switch into my Mega Manectric again because I know that Manectric is faster than Gardevoir. And I'm going to be able to go for a Thunderbolt. I didn't think this would kill it, but I just wanted to get some damage on the Gardevoir because Gardevoir is a big threat to my team. And I just wanted to kind of weaken it a little bit. He does get a critical hit right here on the Moonblast. Or actually, I think that was the Psychic. And so that's really unfortunate. I'm not sure that critical hit mattered. I'm going to be able to go into my Dragonite though and... Uh, finish it off with the extreme speed that's really good for me because again Gardevoir is just such a scary Pokemon on my opponent's team and it can really just destroy my whole team if, it, if it's kept alive so by finishing it off there that's going to be great for me he's going to go into Halucha now and this is where the the battle really kind of turns in my favor he's going to go for power up punch to boost his attack and as you can see it does almost nothing and that's going to allow me to set up a Dragon Dance with my Dragonite, which boosts my attack and my speed. So I'm going to be faster than almost everything, and I'm going to be able to hit really, really hard. Right there he goes for the Flying Press. I think he might have forgotten that it's also a Fighting-type move, so it's going to be not very effective because my Dragonite is a Flying-type move, or a Flying-type Pokemon. So I'm going to be able to finish him off with an Outrage as he goes into his Haunter, and unfortunately Haunter is not going to be able to take an Outrage really well either. And that's just going to really pulverize it, <laughs> as you can probably tell at that point. So at this point, my Dragonite's kind of initiating a sweep. He's going to go into Malamar here. Malamar is an awesome Pokemon. Once again, though, it's not going to be able to take a plus one outrage from a just angry, angry Dragonite, as you can see right there. It's going to one hit KO that thing. But now that was the third turn third turn of my outrage which actually means that I'm going to be confused now so I might actually hit myself in confusion and that could end my sweep really early he's going to go into his awesome shiny tyrant tyrantrum here look how cool that looks and I think I hurt myself in confusion right here yeah I do but what he actually does here is he goes for dragon dance to boost his attack and speed 
Maybe if he would have gone for a rock type move, that would have been better because he could have killed Dragonite and then Tyrantrum would still be alive. But what's going to happen here is I'm going to snap out of the confusion and I'm going to be able to finish him off with the Outrage because Tyrantrum is also a Dragon type. It's going to be super effective, unfortunately, for him. And that's actually his last Pokemon. So as you can see there, I actually win with my Dragonite by sweeping. Unfortunately, I didn't get to try out that Raticate, but hopefully Dan and I can have another battle in the future with some random Pokemon and, and maybe I'll try out my Raticate again. <laughs> maybe I'll try out like just random ones from, from Generation 1 or something like that. But if you are interested in battling me on Pokemon Alpha Sapphire or even just Pokemon X, uh, definitely let me know. Po post your friend code in the comments below and I can definitely battle you sometime soon we'll schedule a time where we can battle because i'm trying to get back into pokemon before sun and moon come out but that was a lot of fun thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed and let me know if you'd like to see more pokemon videos before sun and moon see you soon